In this edition of the Investor Exchange Zoom AGM course, we're going to be focusing on audio. Can your shareholders hear your chairman and chief executive deliver the AGM? Now, the audio is again not something that you're probably focused on day to day. You're probably actually surrounded by noises which you can't hear anymore simply because you're tuning them out because you're used to them. So the first thing to do is to go into the boardroom where you're going to have your Zoom AGM, close your eyes and just listen to what you can hear. Be conscious of what you can hear. The first thing you're likely to notice is the sound of the air conditioner. Again, you tune this out day to day, but really only when you bring it down, that's when you can hear how much of a difference it makes. And turning it off altogether, now you've got decent audio. Now I realize in your office you might not have uh, the ability to control the air conditioner. Lots of offices have central air con. Uh, and of course it's going to get warm after a while. But you can tell just how much of a difference this makes. So either find a boardroom which doesn't have such a loud air con or cover up the vent or find other strategies to mitigate the audio from the air conditioning. Another one is the echo in the boardroom. So once again, while you're standing in the boardroom and you're closing your eyes, give a clap to see how much of an echo comes back. Sometimes the reason why the chairman and chief executives sound like they're presenting from a washroom is simply because of the echo in the boardroom. So perhaps move in some uh, furniture with soft upholstery to absorb more of the sound. Also be conscious of the audio environment outside of the boardroom. For example, a boardroom that's close to the lift lobby might result in the click clack of uh, high heels on the marble flooring. Or when a lift arrives, ding dong, right? There is a noise every time the lift doors open. So beware, be conscious of all of this. Ideally find a boardroom away from the lift lobby. So with that in mind, we can now turn our attention to the actual laptop or other device that you're using in order to run your AGM. And unfortunately, many laptops don't actually have really good microphones. The audio is still quite poor. So you might like to invest in one of these. Now, these microphones don't cost a lot, but they look great and they certainly sound great. You can see this one just plugs into the uh, USB of your, uh, of your laptop. And then go to audio settings uh, on Zoom and make sure that you've got uh, all of the settings. Usually the standard settings are fine. You don't need to fiddle with any of these. Uh, the only thing I'd say is that a mic test is usually quite useful. Click here to test the microphone and in a few moments it'll play it back to you. Or click here to test the microphone and in a few moments it'll play it back to you. Right? You see how that works? Uh, and so that way you can be assured that your shareholders can actually hear you. Um, the microphones that we have here come in different, again, different costs, different sizes. You don't need to buy the most expensive one, but usually, you know, buy a decent brand and not only will you sound much better, but you'll also look much more professional as well. Of course, if you come to our studio, we'll give you one of these lapel microphones, which ensure that you have the best possible TV quality sound. These are the same microphones that TV anchors wear when they're broadcasting or presenting the nightly news. And those are, of course, available in our studio. So we've talked about the camera, we've talked about the lighting, we've covered audio. What about the internet connection? Can your shareholders actually see you uninterrupted? Um, what do we need to think about when it comes to the internet connectivity? That's going to be the subject of our next episode.